Then we switch to Scar. Now, Scar is uh, Mufasa's brother, evil brother. The king always has an evil brother. And so does the hero. The hero always has an adversary. And the reason for that is the king always has an evil brother. And that means that the state always has a tyrannical element. And the tyrannical element exists for two reasons. One is the state deteriorates of its own accord. And that's an entropy observation. What that means is that the state is a construction of the past, right? But the present isn't the same as the past. And to the degree that the past is mismatched with the demands of the present, then it's, then it's, then it's uh, tyrannical. And so anyway, Scar is scarred, right? So what that implies is he's had a pretty rough life and he's kind of skinny and he said he was born in the low end of the gene pool. And so he has reasons to be resentful. He's also hyper intelligent and rational. And it's one of the things you see very commonly about the evil adversary of the state or of the individuals, often intelligent and hyper rational. And, um, the best commentator on that was probably John Milton in Paradise Lost because that's how he represents Lucifer or Satan, who's the spirit of rationality and enlightenment, strangely enough, hence Lucifer, the bringer of light. And the reason for that, as far as I can tell, and this is something that Milton figured out when he compiled all these ancient stories about evil and tried to make them coherent, was that the problem with irrationality, with rationality, is that it tends to fall in love with its own productions. Right, and so then it comes up with a theory and it makes that a totality and then it won't let go. So the rational mind has a totalitarian element. And we know that to some degree because that kind of rationality seems more left hemisphere focused and the left hemisphere tends to impose structured order on the world and be updated by the right hemisphere. And the right hemisphere generally updates it with negative information and with fantasy. And so the left hemisphere will impose a coherent structure on the world, which is really necessary for you to live in it. But the problem is there's a tension between coherence and completeness. And that's partly why you need two hemispheres. You need one to represent the world and you need one to keep track of the exceptions and to feed those slowly into the representational system so that it, so that it can stay updated without collapsing into complete chaos. So anyways, 